video recordings of my experiences scuba diving in the Bahamas at a specific place called Dean's Blue Hole. And this video, I am going to uh, send it out to my friends who are a part of a 12-step program called Codependence Anonymous. Codependency is where you experience um, this inability to sort of, uh, not inability, but a challenge in connecting with yourself, knowing what you think and feel, and being able to express that, articulate that in the moment to yourself and to other people around you. Codependents often have low self-esteem. They value relationships but struggle in them. They experience times where they deny how they think and feel. They have been traumatized often, and so they try to control uh, situations to prevent anything from happening that could be hurtful, and, and, that, and that control can go too far. And then they also tend to avoid anything that, you know, could be uh, challenging to that codependency. So really complicated concept not as clear cut as something like I go to Alcoholics Anonymous because I have a drinking problem. It's codependency is a most deeply rooted compulsive behavior sometimes formed out of you know dysfunctional family systems and sometimes not and my experience is that mm, a lot of people have some level of codependency and uh so anyways, to get off of that, I wanted to talk about my experience with my codependency journey and scuba diving. So I am going to turn this camera around so you can see this beautiful place. And uh, you may have heard from other videos that I have come here to work on my PTSD part of my mental health journey. Not specifically codependency, but codependency is a part of that journey as well. The trauma and codependency go hand in hand. And so I am working with a dive master here and he has helped combat veterans uh, find freedom and progress through scuba diving. Um, and there's a lot of research why scuba diving does that for you that I'm not going to get into that with this video. But in my process of learning how to scuba dive, I've had many experiences that have helped me to grow as a codependent. And I'd like to talk about a few of those. Um, this is Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas. It is 663 feet down, and by no means have I swim to the depths of it. But it is warm, clear waters on the side and a deep hole down the middle, and there's a long rope that extends to the bottom. I've had many profound experiences here, but I'm going to talk about what relates to codependency very briefly. Number one, I can only, I'm the only one down there who can control my comfort and to a degree my safety. So I have a dive master that I'm working with who is very sharp and on it and always thinking about my safety. And I have developed a lot of trust in him to do that. But it is me that must speak up if I cannot equalize my ears as we are descending, if I'm having problems with my mask, if I'm feeling cold, if my airflow isn't working, you know, all that stuff is so important to your overall safety in this experience. And I am the one who needs to take ownership of that. And as codependents, we sometimes struggle to be concerned about our own comfort. And in scuba diving, you are forced <laughs> to do so. Number two, I must communicate if I have the slightest issue. This is important because when you're diving with another person, you don't want to be denying anything that you're feeling, you're experiencing, you're thinking about, you're wondering if it's a safety risk. You need to be able to communicate that with the person that you're working with so that they are aware of your situation. Because if something goes awry, they will be better prepared to help you and vice versa. So there's no room <laughs> for denial. You need to be open and communicate. Number three, we pre-plan a lot of the dives before we go on them. And that brings a lot of clarity and a sense of safety, defining our roles in this, in this situation. And I've heard it said in Codependence Anonymous meetings that you, we, we, are, we are challenged to cast a vision for the relationships that we wanna have. Our friendships, our work relationships, 
our intimate relationships to cast a vision for what we want out of those relationships at the very beginning. And really with scuba diving, that is a part of the process. You are casting a vision of what you want out of the experience with the other person or people that you're scuba diving with. Number uh, three, low, low self-esteem gets really challenged here because in a place of such beauty, it starts to kind of radiate into you the more that you experience it. And as you overcome fear, because right, there's a lot with scuba that can be fear producing for people, um, you build a lot of self-confidence in yourself to be able to um, overcome those fears. And that is a beautiful thing for codependence to experience, is a rise in your feeling of self-worth and confidence in yourself. Um, number five, I accept that not everything is in my control. So we do have some kind of plan here, but it is very possible for a dive experience to be not exactly what you envisioned it to be. Things can happen. So far, I haven't had anything too, you know, scary or weird happen, but what you do is your best at adjusting to the moment, reading your equipment, recalibrating for the situation that you're in, and not always is it the dive that you thought you might have, and you, rec you reckon that that's okay at the end because it's the experience and knowledge that you build with continuing to dive. And lastly, the other codependent piece that I wanna discuss is that we recognize our fears as scuba divers and we do not avoid it, but we do challenge it little by little. So, um, you know, codependents tend to avoid situations that can cause distress for them. Scuba diving has caused distress at, from the beginning for me. And that has decreased over time, but it's still there to a degree. And I, uh, I have learned to challenge that little bits at a time, not avoiding it, but also not going full into, you know, uh, things that I'm not prepared for. So I just hope that hearing that will inspire um, other codependents on their journey, offering you hope and as we uh, inspire uh, hope within each other. A good vacation is always good for anyone, and uh, but a, a vacation with a sense of adventure that, um, that offers meaning to you and growth is 100% better. So I wish all the best to all my friends who are on their journeys with codependency and becoming recovered codependents. Bye-bye.